special adoc on petroleum product subsidy regime from 2017 to 2021 honorable ibrahim mustafa aliu in a one-day retreat organized for the committee he says in a speech that the intentment of the retreat is to provide enabling environment for the committee members also building capacity and understanding the task ahead of the committee uh, good evening and welcome to this very important uh, gathering, a retreat of the Honorable Ad Hoc Committee on Subsidy Regime. Um, as you are all aware, even though it's just a one-day event, but the intent is to you know, provide the enabling environment for the committee members and the consultants alike to brainstorm, build capacity and understanding on the task ahead of us. And let me quickly take you down the memory lane. As you are aware, the committee was established by the Honorable House to investigate the subsidy regime, petroleum subsidy regime between 2017 to 2021 and that the House relied on relevant sections of the Constitution, particularly Section 88 and 89, and as well as Section 14 of the Constitution that deals with the welfare of the citizens. The PIA, that was popularly known before as PIB, that was championed by the Ninth House of Representatives, and now it become, oh, it, 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 it yielded fruition and it's an act of its uh, own, enable the NNPC, or oh, embundle the NNPC to face the challenges of the future and equitably be able to deliver what is expected of it in the industry. The major question Nigerians ask is the issue of subsidy, that a lot has been said about it, how it happened, what happened, what goes around, what can be done about it? And I think in the wisdom of the Ninth House of Representatives and the leadership, they feel there's no other time than now to be able to do something different and be able to tell Nigerians what goes around in the petroleum industry, particularly as it affects the subsidy. Um, the consultants that are gathered here and the resource persons I'm sure I will do justice to the, the topics given to them, particularly on the way we are done, where we think you know, the issue lies, what can be done to resolve the situation, and how we can, do the, how we can handle the work effectively. Um, I don't want to preempt what they will discuss, but particularly the mover of the motion um, hinge his uh, argument or displeasure on particularly the DSDP, that's direct sales, direct purchase, and the attendant corrupt practice involved in the procedure. This House then is tasked with the responsibility of uncovering uh, what happened and how we can effectively, you know, curtail the situation and restore confidence of Nigerians on the whole process. The second issue is the effectiveness or otherwise. Do we continue with the subsidy? Is there a need? What are the challenges? So I'm sure all this, the consultants will do justice to it when they come to the fore. So I welcome you to the one-day retreat, and I hope we have a beautiful um, discussion and uh, I pray to the Almighty God that uh, it should be a guide to this committee so that I'll be able to deliver um, a positive report to the, the House of Representatives and by extension to Nigeria. Thank you so very much. Comfort Olayinka, DCTV News.